STS-92 was a Space Shuttle mission to the International Space Station ISS flown by Space Shuttle Discovery. STS-92 marked the 100th mission of the Space Shuttle. It was launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida, the 11th of October 2000. Topic: Crew Topic. Spacewalks Chow and MacArthur, EVA-1 EVA-1 start, 15 October 2000 to 1427 Coordinated Universal Time EVA-1 end, 15 October 2000 to 2055 Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 6 hours, 28 minutes Lopez Alegria and Wysoff, Eva 2. Eva 2 start, the 16th of October 2000 to 14:15 Coordinated Universal Time. Eva 2 end, the 16th of October 2000 to 21:22 Coordinated Universal Time. Duration: 7 hours 07 minutes. Chow and MacArthur, Eva 3. EVA 3 start, 17 October 2000 to 14.30 Coordinated Universal Time. EVA 3 end, 17 October 2000 to 21.18 Coordinated Universal Time. Duration, 6 hours, 48 minutes. Lopez Alegria and Wysoff, EVA 4. EVA 4 start, the 18th of October 2000 to 1500 Coordinated Universal Time. EVA 4 end, the 18th of October 2000 to 2156 Coordinated Universal Time. Duration: 6 hours 56 minutes. Topic: <laughs> Mission highlights. STS-92 was an ISS assembly flight that brought the Z-1 truss, control moment gyros, pressurized mating adapter 3 PMA-3 mounted on a Spacelab pallet and two DDCU heat pipes to the space station. The Z-1 truss was the first exterior framework installed on the ISS and allowed the first U.S. solar arrays to be temporarily installed on Unity for early power during Flight 4A. The KU band communication system supported early science capabilities and U.S. television on Flight 6A. The CMG's control moment gyros weigh about 27 kilograms 60 pounds and provide non-propulsive electrically powered attitude control when activated on Flight 5A, and PMA-3 provides shuttle docking port for solar array installation on Flight 4A and Destiny Lab installation on Flight 5A. The mission included seven days of docked operations with the space station, four AVAs, and two ingress opportunities. Over the course of four scheduled spacewalks, two teams of space walkers and an experienced robot arm operator collaborated to install the Z1 Z for Zenith port truss structure on top of the U.S. Unity connecting node on the growing station and to deliver the third pressurized mating adapter PMA3 to the ISS for the future berthing of new station components and to accommodate shuttle dockings. The Z-1 truss was the first permanent lattice work structure for the ISS, very much like a girder, setting the stage for the future addition of the station's major trusses or backbones. The Z-1 fixture also served as the platform on which the huge U.S. solar arrays were mounted on the next shuttle assembly flight, STS-97. The Z-1 contains four large gyroscopic devices, called Control Moment Gyroscope CMGs, which are used to maneuver the space station into the proper orientation on orbit once they were activated following the installation of the U.S. laboratory. During the fourth spacewalk, astronauts Wysoff and Lopez Alegria tested the safer jet backpack, flying up to 50 feet while remaining tethered to the spacecraft. Uh, 
Topic Media Topic See also List of human space flights List of International Space Station spacewalks List of Space Shuttle missions List of spacewalks and moonwalks 1965-1999 Outline of space science <laughs>